بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو دس سیکنڈ ایپیسوڈ آف آر سیریز اباؤٹ امیزون ویب سروسز ٹوڈے ول بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ امیزون الاسٹک کمپیوٹ کلاؤڈ اور ای سی ٹو دس از اے پروڈکشن آف سی ایس آر ڈی یو کمپیوٹر سائنس آر این ڈی یونٹ اینڈ یو کین وزٹ ڈبلیو 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 ڈاٹ سی ایس آر ڈی یو ڈاٹ آٹ فار مور ویڈیوز اینڈ ٹوٹوریلس ٹوڈے ول بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ای سی ٹو اینڈ we'll be setting up an amazon machine image we'll be setting up the key pairs and uh, the firewall settings and then we'll try and connect to our ec2 image through putty the ssh client for windows so let's get started to get started with using ec2 you need to go to aws.amazon.com and create an aws account For that you are going to need an amazon.com account because your AWS account gets linked with that uh, basic uh, Amazon services account. So you need to click on create an AWS account and wait for the page to come up. So you enter your email address. And sign in. you can enter your contact information and click on the agreement for the customer service agreement type in the captcha and hit continue now thank you you have created an aws account now these are the services that you can choose from so let's go to ec2 and this is the page that shows you the overview of all the services how you can use them the highlights you can read them up and then head over to sign up for amazon ec2 the page you get now is probably the most important for you to consider because this lists the prices of all the different types of instances and the services that you can request from EC2 and uh, you're basically going to get charged as a result of the choices that you make during EC2 installation configuration and day-to-day -day use so you need to pay attention to these different services and the costs that are associated with them once you've done once you've done that um, you need to and go right at the bottom enter your credit card information and hit continue once you do that you're going to have to wait for a few minutes before you get a confirmation email and uh, after that you can log on so once you're logged into your aws management console you need to go to amazon ec2 tab so the first thing that you need to do is to go to key pairs and create a new key pair for the AMI that you are going to be using the only thing that this dialog requires is the name of the key pair let's keep it simple to EC2 a key pair has been created for you with the name EC2 your private key should begin downloading in a few seconds now you need to store this key some place safe because amazon does not keep a copy of this private key with them and you can't retrieve it later if you lose it so save file that goes into our downloads and let's close that the other thing that you need to do in this console is to create a security group actually we already have a security group here by the name default and we can use that but we need to make a few configuration changes one thing that you need to do is to open up the ssh port with the default source ip or group which is basically everyone you can restrict this source to a subset of your own network or whatever and save it now you'll notice that this default security group does not point to a specific machine or a specific um, ami The reason for that is once we create instances we can associate security groups and key pairs with the instance 
and that we'll do right now so we go to instances and this is the last thing that we'll be doing um, inside of this management console we need to launch an instance and you'll notice that within this quick start tab we have some basic Amazon Linux AMIs and a few Fedora ones you have uh, Ruby on Rails web starter so let's get started with this basic 32-bit Amazon Linux AMI let's hit select and we can now select the number of instances let's keep that to one availability zone you can select one of the different geographical locations let's keep that to no preference instant type if you're just testing you can go with micro which is the cheapest or you can go with another one uh, we'll be launching instances you can do spot instances which are basically cheaper but not reliable enough so you need to have at least one instance that is a regular instance let's select that you have some advanced instance options you can specific uh, you can select specific kernel IDs or uh, RAM disk IDs you can enable CloudWatch monitoring for this uh, you can refer to our first video um, to see what this CloudWatch does but we're going to enable that let's hit next you can give it a name let's call that EC2 and you can give it some other tags but we're not going to do that right now now you can create a key pair in this step or you can select an existing key pair so we'll be selecting the one that we just created a few minutes back EC2 and we will select the default security group that will act as a firewall for this instance or this AMI now those are the instance details you can review them and hit launch what that will do is create the instance and in the status you'll see that it's pending right now and it will be turning into started any moment to running so its status has turned to running and now we can click on this and this is the most important part public DNS this is the public DNS that you can use to access this AMI and to do that we'll be using putty but before we use putty we are going to convert the key pair that we downloaded into putty compatible files for that we need to go into the tool called putty gen which you can download from the putty website you can slowly you can hit conversions and import key and you can select your ec2.pem file select ssh1 rsa and save your private key are you sure you want to save this key without a passphrase to protect it it's normally recommended but since this is only a tutorial let's hit yes and save our key as ec2 friv and save that and that's all from PuttyGen. Let's start Putty. And now you need to paste your public DNS, which we can take from here. And the other thing that you need to do is to go into SSH and auth and browse for your private key that would be ec2 priv and hit open you get the normal ssh uh, new key warning just hit yes and now you can log in into your ami now amazon instructions tell you to log in through the root user that doesn't work and you need to go log in through ec2 user user and that would hopefully work through the public key authentication and you're in now you can hit uname minus a sorry in it. yeah uname minus a like that 
and you can see the details of this so that's it with EC2 hopefully in the next few lectures or videos we'll be talking about um, different uh, techniques such as load balancing auto scaling spot instances but that is for future slides and remember to right click on your test instance and hit terminate which I already did because it's going to charge you if it keeps running so you need to terminate it before you log off hope you enjoyed the videos and thanks for watching